Well, we've had one stray shower, or a little bit of almost stormy weather moving through the area. It's heading to the east now. We can't complain much, Stacy. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Ray Petland's doing pretty good. <laughs> we've got to give him that. Yes, he is. Let's bring him I'm in trying. right now. <laughs> All this praise for you, Ray. I'm trying real hard here. And uh, actually, that, that one little storm is pretty much crossing over out of the area. So we're uh, drying up here, and I think the rest of the evening is going to be looking pretty quiet for most of us as we continue on through. So drier conditions taking over. Temperature-wise, we're doing pretty good in most spots. 74 degrees in Pittsburgh, 74 in Waynesburg. You get 74 in Newcastle, Cranberry, where I am, 75 degrees. That's one of the warm spots. The warmest, though, down into Morgantown, where it's 76. Now, you look at the right side of your screen, and you see those temperatures trail off a little bit. Connellsville, Greensburg, Indiana in the mid-60s, and then we get some 50s in Somerset and Oakland. And that warmer air is trying to spread out that way, and we'll continue to do so. They're watering the lawn there at PNC Park as we look off the top of Gateway Center. Center. That's the Allegheny River in the foreground, and it's a beautiful looking night in Pittsburgh. We have those, uh, well, the report is for mostly cloudy skies because of high, thin clouds, but it's a pretty nice looking night. Light winds, good temps at 74, and low humidity. It's only at 29%. Tonight, we're going down to the lower 50s in most spots, so a, a night very Similar to the past couple, just a couple degrees cooler. And into tomorrow, we'll see our high temperatures return to close to 80 degrees. So another very warm April day is setting up for to the start of the weekend. But the second half of the weekend will actually come with temperatures cooling off a little bit. So a normal high temperature is 60 degrees. Most of this is near or above average until you get towards Thursday of next week. That's where those temperatures start to drop, and it's actually looking cooler right into next weekend. But tomorrow, warmest day of the whole forecast from here on out, 79 degrees. And you can see a little bit of activity in central Ohio. This is losing its steam, though. You'll notice that the earlier frames, the earlier part of this loop, there was a lot more lightning, so that's losing some steam and probably will continue to do so as it moves across the state line towards us. So we'll mix in some clouds from time to time. We're very dry here at the surface, so we have some big-time dry air to overcome with our 29% relative humidity. So we're planning on a mainly dry setup tonight and into early tomorrow. Now, once we get later into the day tomorrow, we can't rule out a little passing shower, very small-scale one trying to develop. I think we end up dry up until about uh, sunset and after. That's when the most widespread rain moves across the region, possibly a couple rumbles of thunder, and we'll see those continue into the early part of Sunday, likely before sunrise, and then most of this rain wraps up until we get into the afternoon, then you can get a quick little pop-up trying to develop. But most of the area is looking dry other than those isolated showers during the daytime on and then Sunday night into Monday, we'll see another round of showers trying to pass through. Those should wrap up, I think, by lunchtime on Monday. Tonight, 52 degrees, partly cloudy, a nice comfortable setup. The weekend looks like this. We get some sunshine and some clouds mixed in, but a stray afternoon shower on Saturday. Rain is most widespread Saturday night into Sunday. And then Sunday, just some stray showers during the daylight. Same deal early on Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday of next week, we're looking pretty quiet, but you'll notice that cooling trend that is taking over. Now, I know when you go outside, you want to know if one of those stray showers is popping up near you. If you see a dark cloud and you wonder about it, get the KDK Weather app. You can see if that's a rain shower or a thunderstorm near you with the interactive radar. Plus, you can get the hourly forecast alerts and a whole lot more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.